Hello fellow pirates, today we're talking about the scenes that were shown at the Anime Expo in detail. I was just about to upload my in-depth trailer breakdown when I saw Arthur, Library of Ohara, going to the One Piece live action Discord fan server and talking about the scenes that were shown at the Anime Expo. So they had a booth there and you could go in line to watch a clip of the live action. They shuffled that through so different people saw different clips but it seems he saw all of them and we read through all of his messages now. So first of all, go and subscribe to Arthur Library of Ohara, first link in the description. Secondly, definitely check out the One Piece live action fan discord server, second link in the description and in the comments. So let's go. He wrote, if you need a proper confirmation for all the scenes, since I saw it was posted. So there's a Luffy vs Alvida scene, a Zoro vs Helmeppo scene, Nami tricking the Funan brothers, Luffy meeting the Mary and Usopp, Sanji meeting the crew and flirting with Nami, Shanks saving Luffy from Lord of the Coast. So these are the scenes and he will explain what is happening during the scenes and what the characters are saying. So huge, huge, huge shout out to Ohara for that. There's no Zoro vs Morgan scene shown. That was probably confusion on Zoro fighting Helmapo, I believe. Okay, okay. I was given full permission to talk about everything that I saw. So yes, perfect, we can talk about it. In detail, Luffy fighting Alvida in stretchy rubbery ways as Kobe panics. Helmapo taunting Zoro and him fighting him back as he takes on several marines in the restaurant. Nami tricking the buggy pirates pretty much like in the manga, the scene on the boat. This is the same that Randy Troy saw. Also link in the description for the stream, he talked about that. Luffy first meeting the Mary, he finds Usopp on top of it, cleaning it and asks him to buy the ship. Usopp says he can hook them up with his best friend. Sanji meeting the straw hats and flirting aggressively with Nami. Nami is kinda creeped out. Shanks saving Luffy from Lord of the Coast, much like in the manga, just way more epic. Okay, so the question was accent wise. Okay, accent wise, yes, Sanji a little bit. I feel he almost sounds a bit more French and Helmepo and Kobe are British. He keeps insisting about bringing Nami something special and she's like, yeah, normal water in a normal glass and Sanji keeps grinning like an idiot. Okay, this sounds cool. Now nah, I'd say two to five minutes, they varied in length. Okay, so, so the clips were different length. When the Straw Hats meet Usopp, they ask him what he's doing on the Mary. And he's paraphrasing, of course. Well, I'm actually the shipyard chief director of the Department of Hygiene and Order. So he's lying already. <laughs> so you're just the janitor cleaning bird shit. <laughs> in my opinion, the choreography is insane. Okay, the fight scenes are so good. Camera work and action's great. Sanji says shitty a lot. How was Alvida? Obviously with full respect to her I wasn't feeling the actor as much but she looks great and the fight scenes with her mace were really fun. Okay. Seeing Luffy stretching was really fun. Lord of the Coast looked wild. He felt like an actual force of nature. That's great. The rubber attacks work better with other moves since they're far quicker than the gum gum pistol. As we noticed in the trailer, Nami joins at Shellstone. Yeah, that's what I thought. Luffy meets Zoro when Helmepo confronts him in the restaurant. Okay, so Zoro isn't tied up as long as in the manga and the anime, so, so it makes sense for him to not look as dirty as there. They meet Usopp at the Mary at the shipyard. Everything makes sense and works really naturally. Every change feels faithful. <laughs> So yeah, he's a little bit biased, of course. He's just as hyped as we are. And if he feels it's done well, so yeah, what what else do we want? Even the acting of the characters feel different than in the manga, but like a faithful adaptation that makes sense. Okay. For example, do you all remember the message by Jacob at To Doom? The one where he's lying into the camera that he's the captain of the crew and stuff. Um, that's basically the entire vibe Usopp has here. Okay, so it's his attire as an actor. But like, it fits very well because he sounds like he's trying to put up airs. Okay. Yeah, it's more based on the enemy where Sora is eating at the restaurant and then Helmepo taunts him. Okay. Helmepo literally looks like a discount Sephiroth. Lol. And kind of love that. <laughs> okay. 
they gave him long hair, but they made him even look more pathetic. Okay, so no shitty uh, hairstyle, but uh, he looks pathetic. That's great. They even gave him a stupid laugh. Uh, Luffy, Zoro and Nami all in the restaurant with Helmeppo teasing Zoro. Okay, Nami kidnaps a marine to steal his clothing. So someone asked, do you think they will post those clips after Anime Expo? And he said, hmm, not sure. There's hoping, but they were very strict about not recording. They confiscated your phones. So yeah, makes sense. But we will get a bigger trailer soon, I guess. How was Luffy's personality? Accurate? Really cool, slightly different from the manga, but it fits so well. Inyaki is just goofy. He walks around with a dumb smile on his face. Oh, I love that. I really love his affectuous smile. There's the scene where Kobe walks up all shaky and scared and Luffy's just <laughs> waltzing in without a care. Okay, bumps something onto a cannon and wakes up Alvida's entire ship. Okay, that's his grin most of the time. So he, me so he means this grin from the end scene of the trailer where he tells Sorrow that every good pirate calls out their attacks. Kobe's actor is fantastic as well. Perf perfectly captured the character. Luffy was so smug with Alvida. Just being silly and jumping around. Gonna be honest, the fight even reminded me of the same tone the final fight of Wano has. Mm. So yeah, that's that's a little bit of a spoiler here, but if you know, you know. And oh my god. That's this this statement is the banger. He just jumps and stretches around in silly ways. Slightly cringy but mostly goofy. Some of the dialogue can sometimes feel really corny. I feel the campy feeling works well with the vibe, but other times it does fairly awkward and cringy, okay. There's a point where Alvida hits Luffy and he kinda shakes like a bubblehead lol. Alvida tries hitting him and he just jumps around the sails until Alvida smashes into a lantern and lights the boat on fire all while Luffy smiles. How was the music? And Arto said very piratey, kinda like Pirates of the Caribbean, I feel. So it's more orchestral and more energetic, kinda like the things we heard from the trailers and stuff. So he didn't mention that it was the leitmotif or the exact same music from the anime. Any OG One Piece OST? Yeah, not so far that I recognized. The OST was great so far though. What's that piratey instrument that is used a lot in these films? Accordion, I think? You hear that a lot and it works great, okay. Seriously, I can't emphasize how fun the action scenes were. The CGI looks just like the trailer, especially the gum gum pistol. Nami's wig looks pretty fine in action. About Nami. She's wearing this outfit in that scene! I read that before! This is so amazing, really! So this is the original concept art for Oda for One Piece. So this art existed even before One Piece existed and was uh, the concept of Nami essentially. But it was released via the color walks and stuff. Really awesome that Matt Owens referenced so much color walk stuff and so much drawings from Oda because the straw heads have drip, yes. <laughs> and I love to see the designs and stuff. Okay, in the scene where she tricks the buggy pirates. Slightly different, no mecha parts, but she has the leggings and stuff. Okay, and this is Nami's outfit for Syrup Village, like the one she wears in the Instagram post. Colton suffering with Higuma, I felt bad for him. So Colton is the kid actor for Luffy. The fruit itself? No, it's just a scene with Lord of the Coast. Okay, uh, but he saw Peter Gaddio, the Shanks actor, and he was Daddy Shanks as expected. Literally, I'm not even joking, so he looks good. When flirting with Nami, shitty being used a bunch by Sanji. Welcome to this shitty restaurant where the only shittier thing is the food. How can I serve you? <laughs> The Funan brothers are literally identical. Okay, these three are the Funan brothers. Buggy's pirates. Surprisingly, he's in literally identical. So he too, and he is too. Looks like Matt Mercer, by the way. There were some of the alternate outfits I mentioned before, and the shirt of Sorrow with the three arrows. 
Zoro is more cool and badass, okay. Luffy is a bit more goofy and silly. Nami is serious and bossy, but also a bit smug. Usopp is suave and smooth. Sanji is flirty and rude. Treats everyone like shit and then goes, oh excuse me, I didn't see you, my lady. <laughs> and then he goes, <laughs> with the dumbest grin possible. Slightly British, maybe French sounding, I feel, but hard to say. In the Alvida scenes, he's super goofy and silly. Sorry, I didn't. So Sanji says, sorry, I didn't see you, my lady. Can I serve you? Can I serve you a Grand Marnier? Soro said, look, we just need some food for our friends. Sanji says, wasn't talking to you. <laughs> Welcome to the shitty restaurant, where the only shittier thing is the food, what can I serve you? And Luffy says, everything, thanks. Paraphrasing, of course. The other gum gum and text look better though. Luffy flips around a lot, oh nice. I imagine that would not have been good in sandals. As an One Piece fan watching this for One Piece enjoyment, 9 out of 10, but I'm undeniably biased. When they meet Usopp, it's basically like, bro. <laughs> To be fair, there was this line, Alvida, what kind of monster are you? And Luffy says, the stretchy kind. They kept the goofy laughs. Great. Like the trailer gave the vibe, but this confirms that yes, it's so fun to watch. Was often cheering at so many of the scenes. Oh, amazing. Zoro beating up the marines and Luffy just looking like, yeah, that's my man. Kobe's actor was insane, I feel. Literally in real life Kobe. Mannerism down to perfect. Luffy enters the shipyard. Okay, this is the scene with the Mary. He sees the Mary, he walks up to it and touches her face, feeling something special. He hears a voice talking to him and he tells the Mary, You can talk? However, it's Usopp on the ship who is actually talking to him, asking him what he's doing there. Luffy then says he will buy the ship. Oh, spoiler, this is so great foreshadowing. Really magical moment. Luffy just tells Usopp, well, we will buy this. And Usopp goes, wait, I'm not the Nami and Zoro enter. And Luffy says, we got it, boys. I just bought this. Usopp tells him, uh, I can't do that. <laughs> the voice is actually Usopp's. Luffy was just mistaken. So another quote from Luffy. Kobe told me you're pretty cool, pretty strong and also uglier than a sea cow. <laughs> Saying to Alvida, of course. Zoro eating, Hamepo taunts him, Luffy and Kobe watch on as Zoro defends himself from Hamepo and his goods. Nami looks from a side and knocks out the marine by head slamming him into the counter. The chemistry between the cast is so good too. Yeah honestly, the chemistry we've seen IRL basically the same in the show. Amazing stuff. That sounds great! Guys, bottom line is, it's actually good. Still feel so surreal, I was able to contribute a bit to this. But as I said, the staff really deserves all the credit. I'm so proud of what they made. I will go to sleep now since it's really late in LA now, but it's been a pleasure to get to fanboy out with you guys. So thank you again, Archer. First link in the description. Please subscribe to him. Please go on to the One Piece live action discord. They are so great detectives to finding out new info about the live action that you didn't saw before. They are my source too, of course. So. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, I enjoyed this so much and yeah, you can expect finally <laughs> the trailer breakdown from me, including, because I will change this, the scenes that Arthur mentioned, so we have all in one place. Thank you very much for watching and let's set sail.